guys welcome back to my channel dash with dalinda i hope everyone is doing great if you're new here welcome thanks for stopping by if you aren't already subscribed please consider doing it and turn that bell notification as you read by the title we'll be making a JK along with a delicious sauce that i'm sure you will love so let's get started so we're going to start by marinating the fish the type of fish that i'm using is tilapia and uh, we want to make sure that the fish is well clean and also make small incisions um, to allow the marinade to also reach inside the fish as well. The seasoning that I used here for the fish are garlic powder, edible powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, maggie cube and a pinch of salt. No worries. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box as usual along with the measurement. So don't forget to check the description box. So we want to make sure that this fish is well marinated and feel free to use any type of seasoning that you prefer when you marinate your fish. At some point, I just decided to add a little bit of flour to my fish. This is actually my first time trying this. So I was like, let me just give it a try and see how it goes. So yeah, you can definitely skip the flour part if you don't want to. I'm using all-purpose flour. So we're going to add this on pretty much all part of the fish. Make sure it's well coated and put aside. So for the HEK, what I usually like to do is add some water to the HEK and remove the dirt or at least some of the dirt from it. But this step has to be really quick and I'm gonna drain this out then go ahead and add some water and let it sit for a few minutes what you can also do is just follow the instruction on the package then for the vegetables i'm going to use tomato onion cucumbers you can cut this in any shape you want but this time i choose to cut them in cube or diced pretty much like this For the cucumbers, I usually use more cucumbers, but this happened to be the only thing left in my fridge. So, yeah. I'll repeat the same thing for the onions. Here I'm just adding one habanero pepper. I usually don't do this, but I just decided just to add a little bit of it for some spiciness. This is optional, so you don't really need to add that if you don't really love spicy food, I'll say. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of Maggie Cube and I added a little bit of lemon as well, which I didn't film and that's it. For the sauce, I'm going to mix one small tomato, bell pepper, one small onion, habanero pepper and uh, about a tablespoon of minced garlic to obtain this mixture. So this is kind of how the HK is supposed to look like at this point. I'm just going to add the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute while checking from time to time. Next on medium heat, I'm going to add my fish to fry. At this point, I was a little disappointed because I didn't want my fish to burn. So I guess the flour played a part on that too. So I'm going to fry on both sides and remove it. Now 
Next, we're going to use the vegetable that we used to fry our fish to make the sauce. Now I'm gonna add the mixture that I obtained by mixing the tomato, bell peppers and stuff. So this, I'm going to cook this really quick on low heat. Add tomato paste, a little bit of my green seasoning, which will be linked in the description box as well. And the remaining of the seasoning used to season my fish. I'm adding a little bit more of oil. You can definitely adjust this depending on how much oil you want in uh, tomato sauce. And we're going to mix this. You can also adjust your seasoning here. You can add, I don't know, edible powder, garlic powder, and so on. Here, end up deciding to add a little bit of mustard. Also, you can add salt in a Maggi cube. This is pretty much it. So we're going to cook this on low heat, definitely on low heat. And uh, if at this time you don't have any oil coming up, you can definitely go ahead and add some more oil. And that's it. So this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Love the content shared here. If that's the case, please give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn that bell notification to be notified anytime I upload a video on my channel. Also, if you recreate this recipe, let me know in a comment down below how was it and why not share with your friend and family. Until next time, take care.